New info on breaking news from Orange County. Five people lost their lives in two separate crashes today on Interstate 10. They happened just two hours and two miles apart in Orange County this morning. And the westbound lanes there were shut down most of the day. In fact, they reopened less than an hour ago. Let's start with the first crash. It involved two 18-wheelers. This was around 9.30 this morning near FM 1136. DPS troopers say an 18-wheeler broke down and stopped in the middle of the westbound lanes. Another semi rear-ended the stopped truck and it burst into flames. The driver was thrown from the cab and died at the scene. The driver of the broken down truck was not hurt. So the second crash happened two miles east of the first one. According to DPS, an 18-wheeler again was stopped because of all the traffic from the first crash. A car was speeding behind and rear-ended that trailer. A driver died at the scene. Two passengers were rushed to the hospital. According to Justice of the Peace Ben Collins, one of them was pregnant and was forced into labor. Sadly, the mother and the baby, as well as the other passenger, did not survive. State troopers say the passengers were from Fort Myers, Florida, at least from that area of Florida. They're still working to identify the driver and notify families. Crashes like the ones that we've seen today really raise real questions. What could be causing all of these accidents? And, and ultimately, how dangerous is this stretch of I-10? 12 News reporter Amelia White is putting things into perspective. Most people would assume fewer people on the roads will lead to fewer accidents, but that's not the case for Texas highways. The highway safety industry thought the pandemic would give them a break too. Instead, they're dealing with concerning numbers. So far this year, 3,445 fatal accidents have been reported from TxDOT, which isn't far off from last year's number, 3,623 fatal crashes statewide. TxDOT hoped with more people working from home, crashes will decrease, but that hasn't happened. Most car accidents this year were caused by speeding, drunk driving, or distracted driving. Highway officials calling those crashes preventable. It needs to stop. 100% it needs to stop. And it's up to all of us to work towards ending that daily streak of deaths on Texas roadways. We all have to put in the effort. Coming up at 6, we'll review some of the top things to avoid doing while driving to make your next trip safer. In Beaumont, Amelia White, 12 News.